Welcome to Conversations Live. For more than a decade, we've brought you the best in books, entertainment, celebrity interviews, and current events. When the movers and shakers of the world have something to say to you, they say it to us first. Here's your host, Cyrus Webb. Welcome back, everyone, to Conversations Live. I'm your host, Cyrus Webb. Glad you all could join us once again. But for our radio audience here in Mississippi at WYAD 94.1 FM and WYADonline.com, we're glad that you all could be with us. Also, it's tuning in to our friends at iHeartRadio and Amazon Music Podcast. We're glad you all could join us as well. We're here on the radio side. We are celebrating National Radio Day. And here at Conversations Live, we're celebrating 19 years of bringing you guys great conversations, over 11,000 interviews in the past 19 years here on the radio, so we definitely thank you all for all of the love and support. So throughout this day and also throughout the week, we've been sharing with you guys some great stories of individuals who've been able to do amazing things, and today's guest is no different. We're excited to welcome Melissa Banks to our program today. Melissa is someone who's been with us before on Conversations Live. She's a master event planner, an entrepreneur, motivational speaker, also a media personality herself and author. We're going to talk to her about the makings of her brand, what it's been like for her to do work that she loves, but also let you guys know how to stay connected with her as well. Melissa, hello to you, and welcome back to the program. Hi, Sarah. Thank you for having me. Excited to be here today. Uh, the pleasure is definitely all mine. So, you know, there's a lot that you are doing, uh, Melissa, and a lot that that people know you from. I mean, I, I listed just some of the things that are there. I want to talk about this experience for you because you've shared about your journey in the past, but what has it been like for you to kind of reflect uh, on the past 20 years that you've been able to share your platform with the world, and now I think more recently letting us know more behind the scenes of the makings of Melissa Banks. What has that been like for you? It's been quite an experience, and it's amazing you ask that question right now because at this point I've been reflecting back um, even back to the very beginning, and I've talked about this publicly before, is how it all got started. And it wasn't with a dream of, of an entrepreneur journey. It was uh, God just placing that vision in me at a moment that I felt very um, desperate, and I felt like my life was scary. I didn't know how to move forward. That was the beginning when, when God planted that dream, that vision of having a business And at that time, I didn't know what that meant because I didn't know people who looked like me who had businesses. Nobody in my family had businesses. It was not a dream. So as I look back to that moment where that dream was placed in me, and then I look at some of the the great things that's happened on this journey, how much I have learned, but also some, some obstacles that have happened on this journey and some difficult challenges that I faced, and, and someone mentioned earlier uh, they were afraid to fall down. Well, I've fallen down many times over this past 20 years, but what's always kept me together and what has always kept me moving forward was that knowing in my gut and my spirit that this dream was planted here and was not planted here to fail. It was planted here to succeed. So each time that I've, I've fallen or I faced a challenge, it just pushed me to the to moving forward and to keeping going and that's the biggest lesson through the entire journey is knowing in your heart and your soul and your core and then moving forward keep going even when it's challenging even when it doesn't look like you thought it would look and it definitely hasn't always looked like I thought so um that's the big, biggest lesson in the journey and that's what keeps me going even today and and yet, with that being said, Melissa, the initial vision that you had 20 years ago is not what you're living in 2022. You've added flashes even in the time I've known you in the past now uh, going on three years of being an author, uh, being able to be a media personality. What made you or what helped you maybe to trust that you could be able to do things outside of even what other people expected of you? Wow, you know, um, if someone would have asked me just three years ago if I would be even having a conversation like this um, with you, I it would have been beyond what I could dream or imagine. When I started this business 20 years ago, I thought I was going to make flower arrangements and sell them to people or uh, do some home decorating for people. So it has expanded beyond what I could have even imagined. But the key is... Um, is being able to step into the opportunities when they, they're there. I mean, just um, grasping the opportunities and then looking past what my own heart could dream and being able to dream bigger, even since just the past three years, that um, I've been able to, to move into areas that I never thought. I mean, the, 
an author, having a book with my picture on the cover and my name on it was beyond what I could dream. But it's, it's so important to have people around you that can push you, that can encourage you to do those things that you didn't think you could do. So absolutely, so many things have uh, happened that 20 years ago I never would have thought could happen to, to me, uh, a simple person here in Mississippi. So, uh, yeah, it's been beyond what I could dream. Yeah, such a great thing. And so I want to talk about being a source of encouragement for others. I remember uh, going back to um, the the last time that I saw you speaking at a public event, um, and there you were sharing a bit of your backstory, um, Melissa, and using it as an opportunity to encourage others. Did you know or did you did you hope that your story would be a source of inspiration for others? Well, you know, I didn't know it for sure. And I was also afraid to sh- share my story, uh, Cyrus, was because I felt like um, people would judge the story rather than hear the uh, inspiration behind the story. But at that event you're referring to was the first time I really shared the story publicly. And what I found out in sharing the, the heartache and sharing the fear and sharing and, um the push, you know, some some people think that you wake up and you have this big dream and you just go with it. But I wanted to show that person that it wasn't all laid out, all peaceful like that. But it was uh, a trust in God, a trust in, in doing the work, a trust in each obstacle pushing you to the next thing. So by sharing that, it just opened up so many doors for myself and encouraged myself and it encouraged other women who was the audience I was speaking to at that moment. That, that they can push beyond their circumstances. They, they may have lost that job that they thought they had forever. They may have suffered domestic abuse and they were able to move forward, but they could still step into their dream and still dream big, which is always my story. So what I've learned from sharing my story publicly is your story will help someone. It will push someone to move forward into areas that they never thought they could or that they had the courage to do, it would give them the courage to do that. So that, that that was the strength in sharing my story. And in sharing your story, too, I think it reminds other people they're not alone. So I want to talk about, and you referenced mm-hmm. this earlier, about who you surround yourself with. And you know, I, it's something that I spend a whole lot of time talking about because I'm a firm believer that your surroundings – has a lot to do with your trajectory and and how quickly you're able to do something um, or if you're able to do anything at all. Talk to us about what that's been like for you, Melissa, to realize for yourself personally the importance of your surroundings and who you choose to share your space with. You know, I talk about this a lot, that having the power to control what comes into your mind because I believe everything starts with your mind. So if you have people around you, whether it's in social media, whether it's family, whether it's people in the industry that are not pouring positive into you, then you can't pour in negative and get out positive, right? So if everybody, if people are around you that are not encouraging, they're not inspiring, I don't mean that they're not helping you and they're not giving you some great feedback on how to be better, but if they're not doing that, then you control who is around you by using tools with your nest that you have in front of you. You know, this social media, you get to choose who who gets to come in on your page, who sees your page. You, that control is you because all of those outside sources can push you or they can stop you. There's no in-between, you know, so they, they have to choose. I mean, over the last several couple of years, so many opportunities were presented to me because I was around people who saw something good in me and wanted to uplift me or gave me an idea that I never would have thought for myself because they thought it would move me forward. If you don't have those kind of people around you, you are not going to be able to move forward because you're going to take on those thoughts and processes of those people. So be selective of who's around you and who's feeding into your mind because everything begins with your thoughts, and it's up to you to decide who those people are. Do you still find yourself having to fight off fear, Melissa, at this point, or are you able to to pretty much combat it when it presents itself? or Is it still an issue for you? Well, you know, um, fear uh, presents itself all the time. If, if you're moving and if you're growing and if you're stepping into areas that are uncomfortable for you, fear is going to be there. So what I have learned over the journey is when fear presents itself, that's when I go deep. That's when I go into uh, my affirmations. And affirmations to me are so important because it gives you the ammunition you need when that fear 
pops his ugly head because fear can stop you and will stop you if you don't don't handle it and know where to go to get to handle it. You can't wait till it show up. You have to already know what you have to do. Those affirmations, words of motivation, talk to that person that encourages you and push you through that fear and do it anyway. Make not make quitting not an option because once you make quitting an option, fear wins. I always know that fear hates movement. So if you keep moving, you will move through that fear and you will move on to the other side. And that's what helps me get through because it still shows up even even now. It's a great reminder for all of us. For those who are just tuning in on the radio dial or online, you're listening to Conversations Live. We're speaking with Melissa Banks today as we're celebrating National Radio Day. She's a master event planner. She's an author, motivational speaker, entrepreneur, and an individual who's been able to do some amazing things for sure and to be able to show people, remind people of what's important uh, as well. So I want to talk about finding one's voice and using one's voice because it, it is National Radio Day and you also have your own program, Dream by Design with Melissa Banks, as well as an online show as well, the Melissa Banks Show. How, what has it been like for you, Melissa, to be able to find your voice and to embrace your voice? Well, you know, uh, Cyrus, I think that uh, for me, that's, that's part of my strength today. It's part of what, what gives me the energy and the motivation to keep moving is that I finally heard my voice, and my voice can reach people. You know, that was the biggest thing and the biggest aha moment, if you will, is to know that I have something to say, and there are people who can connect with what I have to say and gain strength. So by being able to speak in platforms like this on the Dream by Design with Melissa Banks show where we talk to other women and and share, I I think it just gives you, it gives me confidence in, in what I have to say and who I am. And I grow from every single conversation and every time I'm on, not just what I say, but what gets fed into me as well. So it causes you to grow, and growth means process, and growth also um, means that you're able to move forward and continue to move in your journey and grow forward. You know, and I think, too, that that is it. And encouraging other people, Melissa, is something that you and I both believe in. We both do it. Mm-hmm. But it is not, unfortunately, it is not the norm. Uh, and that's just the truth of the world that we live in. What made you know it was okay to celebrate others as you were building your own business and brand, and that it didn't that their success did not impact your success? Oh, wow, that is a great question. When I discovered Cyrus, I I have been motivating and pushing people for a long time. I just didn't look at it in in the, that way. I looked at it as just having conversations, and I tried to make sure that my conversations were um, were positive and pushing people to succeed. See, I'm your biggest cheerleader. I already know that, and I know from, from my faith and from my commitment to my faith that everything that, that's supposed to be mine will be mine, and I look at it that way so I can cheer you on. I can lift you up. I can find something good that will encourage you in your darkest moment, and I can feel encouraged. And when something happens to you, I can just celebrate with you, and I know that has nothing to do with my successes in my yeah. industry and in industries abroad, so many people um, feel that if you succeed, that means I can't. And I don't have that mentality. You don't have that mentality. That's why you can encourage people and, and reach out to people where you do. It's because I, I just feel that that I can push you to be the best you you can be, and I can still be the best me I can be. And I feel that from my heart, and we can all be successful be successful and celebrate the successes together. And that's huge. And so many people, unfortunately, like you said, don't feel that way. And that often stops people from uh, helping someone, stops you from encouraging someone or saying a few words that will motivate them. And oftentimes that's all it takes. It's just a few words in the bathroom, a few words in line that will get someone from that one point of almost quitting to pushing forward and moving on. And that is the greatest inspiration to me and that's definitely one of my passions. Well I'd say it's a great it's a great passion and it's something that is so needed, uh something that is useful and something that works, and that's the cool thing for sure. Again, everyone, Melissa Banks is our guest. We're talking with her about the journey of not only building her business and brand, but also how she's been able to stay focused along the way. Uh, And I think the lessons for all of us in that, uh, as we're kind of looking at ourselves, where we are, and where we want to go. So, I mean, we're literally down to the last quarter of 2022, Melissa, if you can believe that. What are you looking forward to for the rest of this year that you can share with our audience? 
Well, you know, I'm just we're coming off our one of our biggest events all year and the biggest event for a long time, the five star bridal experience. So we're just coming off of that excitement about that event. And that just uh, encouraged us to look forward to these last six months of the year and moving into some great areas and, and talking to more amazing women about their careers and sharing with uh, our audiences and all of our different platforms as much as we can. And also creating some magical events for, for our clients as well. So we're excited about the second half of the year. Well, I'll tell you, there's a lot that's going on and a lot for us to be able to look forward to. So last thing I want to ask you then, Melissa, what advice would you have for aspiring entrepreneurs out there or those who may have been thinking about starting a business or building a brand? What advice would you give to them? I would say look past the fear. Surround yourself with people that can motivate you, inspire you, and push you to going forward, and then just start. Don't try to figure it all out at the beginning, but just start, and it will all come to you. All right, Melissa, great conversation with you. Glad we could have you here as part of our National Radio Day coverage. How can our audience stay connected with you? Well, we, we make it really easy for you to stay connected with us. You can, reach, you can find um, interviews with some amazing women at Dream by Design with Melissa Banks at this one link. You can also reach out to us for event planning. You can reach out to us for the Melissa Banks Show. All of our links is right there in that one place. If you go to themelissabanks.com, you can reach out to us on all of our platforms right there in that one place. Again, it's themelissabanks.com. All right, Melissa. Congratulations to you again. So glad we had a chance to catch up and looking forward to our next conversation together. Thank you, Cyrus, so much. It's always a pleasure to chat with you. No, same here, and we thank your audience for tuning in to another great segment of Conversations Live.